the evolution of a seal coater. On one end, you've got a five gallon pail of seal coat and a paint roller. On the other end, you have a 700 gallon extended deck trailer with a two inch dual diaphragm pump, 30 gallon compressor, water tanks, eight foot spray bar that allows you to do hundreds of thousands of square feet in a day. The Evolution chain has a lot of different plugs in throughout that evolution that allow you to grow into a seven-figure business. When I started 24 years ago, I started with that five-gallon pail of seal coat and a paint roller. And man, oh man, did I wish I had an opportunity to watch this video that you're watching right here. Stand by as we roll through the evolution of what it's like for somebody who starts out small and grows into a seven-figure business. The cool thing is that it's in the palm of your hands to decide where you're going to jump in and how fast you're going to grow to scale to a seven-figure asphalt maintenance pavement asset management company. Let's go on the journey. So I remember going back to that five-gallon pail of seal coat and the paint roller, arriving up at a driveway, knocking on the door and speaking to somebody, solving their problems and over-delivering the value speaking about safety on the driveway, speaking about how I'm gonna extend the life of the driveway by making sure I put a protective seal coat down on the surface to protect it against the weather, the sun, the rain, the snow, the ice, the salt, and the rapid deterioration that takes place without seal coat. In addition, I was gonna make it look really, really great because of course, enhancing the curb appeal on a property is always awesome for the property owner. So I went and did that very first driveway. I had to shake that five gallon pail between my legs 40 or 50 times just to get the seal coat mixed properly for application. I would then take the five gallon pail and dump it out on the driveway. I would move it around with the paint roller, making sure I was putting an even coat throughout the surface. The challenge that I had was I was only able to do four or five of those driveways daily because I was so limited on having to roll around with these five gallon pails choosing the paint rollers, cleaning the paint rollers, and doing these driveways by hand, so much manual work. I was not maximizing my time by using the right equipment to unfold a job that was gonna allow me to make more money more quickly and ultimately scale my business. So I then eventually grew into the next stage in the evolution chain, which is a drum sprayer. At Asphalt Kingdom, we have the AK-55 drum sprayer. It plugs into 55 gallon drums. It mixes the sealer inside of the drum, preparing it for application. And it also has spray mode, which allows you to spray the sealer out, or you take the spray tip off of the spray gun and you ultimately pump sealer out in beads on the asphalt surface, moving the seal coat around with a 24 or 36 inch seal coat brush. And that allows you to do a great finish on residential driveways. And of course, the spray mode's great when you're doing small commercial or large estate driveways, farm driveways that you can spray in a more maximized fashion to get a better yield on your material and also be able to ultimately get more jobs done quickly. So we have the five gallon pail of seal coat and the paint roller. And now the next jump was the AK-55 drum sprayer. The next jump up from that is the 275 gallon tote sprayer. It's a poly tote in framed with an aluminum cage, and that holds 275 gallons worth of material, about 25,000 square feet of coverage. That operating system for the spray system is the same as the drum sprayer. It has the same engine, it has the same pump, but you operate from a larger tank, meaning less trips to the seal coat plant or less transfers from drums or totes over to your main tote tank. Once you move on from the tote spray system, you move on to what we call a tanked system. We have the AK-130 and the AK-230 steel tank system. These units have the same operating system, engine and pump, as the AK-55 and the AK-275. You have the AK-130 and the 230 that have three modes of operation, however. The first mode of operation is recirculate. Recirculates the sealer inside of your tank. You also have spray mode, which allows you to spray sealer out of your long seal coat spray hose out of your spray gun. And it also has transfer mode, which is allowing you to transfer sealer from drums or totes over to your main tank system so that you can go out and do residential work or commercial work. Now the 130 tank system is of course smaller, 
yielding less coverage per tank than the 230. The 230 has the additional 100 gallons. So again, you have a larger tank to be able to operate with to get more jobs done per tank. The next step up from this is to go to an air operated spray system like the Air Boss 300. It's got a dual diaphragm pump. It's got an air compressor. It's got a tank system that has manual agitation on the fly so that you're actually able to manually agitate that material inside of your tank. You can also add sand loads to the seal coat inside of your air boss. This skid mounted unit also can be mounted on a trailer or in the back of your pickup truck. That Air Boss 300 is an ideal spray system for somebody who's wanting to go out there to have power pack performance to do small commercial as well as medium sized commercial work. And that 300 gallon capacity definitely allows you to do that. The next step up from that, you move on to what we call the extended deck trailer rigs. These extended deck trailer rigs have a hydraulic agitated tank on the system forward, neutral, and reverse gearing, full paddle sweep, which means that you mix up the sealer inside of your tank all through using hydraulic agitation. These extended deck trailer rigs with the hydraulic agitation also includes a two inch air pump, dual diaphragm. You have a 30 gallon compressor as well on that system to make sure that you have power packed performance to go out there and do small, medium, and large size commercial work. We have the extended deck trailer in the 300 gallon, the 500 gallon, and the 700 gallon version. That's where you step in on the evolution chain where ultimately you can go out and do hundreds of thousands of square feet in a couple of days. And if you're wanting to really step it up, you add on what we call the eight foot spray bar on the back that allows you to put down eight to 10 foot streaks of sealer down on that surface so that you're doing an enormous amount of coverage for your time. So let's go back through the evolution of a seal coater. Five gallon pail and a paint roller. Next is the AK-55 drum sprayer. Next is the AK-275 tote sprayer. Next is the AK-130 or 230 steel tank system with centrifugal pump and engine. Next is the Air Boss 300 with a dual diaphragm pump, as well as a compressor and manual agitation on the tank system to keep full paddle agitation mix inside of your tank. Next is to the, what we call the extended deck hydraulically agitated tanks with two inch pumps, 30 gallon compressors, as well as adding a spray bar. Now, why would you jump in at a later stage inside of the evolution chain is what we ask as a common question. The reason why is you can get to where you desire to go faster. As an example, if you're wanting to make a million dollars a year in revenue and you want to take home around four hundred to $500,000 net with your business, you simply cannot do it with a five gallon pail of seal coat and a paint roller. You can't do it with a 55 gallon drum sprayer. You can't do it with a 275 gallon tote sprayer. You can't do it with a 130 or 230 centrifugal operated tank system. You would need to jump to an Air Boss 300 at minimum to get started to be able to reach a seven figure revenue number. It's just impossible to do it any other way. And so when you're first starting out in this industry, it's not always a good thing to start out small. If you have the money and you're going all in and you truly desire to create tremendous success in your life, then invest into a package that allows you to get started at a much deeper level in the evolution chain that allows you to reach your goals faster. I speak with seven figure companies who are in the pavement asset management business. And these are guys that are out there making seven figures time and time again, who have been in the industry for 20 and 30 years. And one of their biggest regrets is not starting sooner, but their second regret is not starting bigger, faster because they would have been able to achieve success much more quickly. You see, when you're driving down the road with an AK-55 in the back of your truck or trailer, it doesn't look nearly as professional from a marketing standpoint compared to that of a 500 gallon or a 700 gallon on an extended deck trailer where you have your company branded across the tank and you've got a professional hooked up system on the back of a truck. These extended deck trailers, you can put a 30 gallon RY30 Pro on it, which is a crack melter kettle stationary, 
and you'll be able to pull your RY10 Pro up to it just like a coffee station and fill your RY10 Pro with crack sealers so that you can keep crack sealing ongoing. You see the extended deck trailers will allow you to hold everything that you need all on that trailer, professional looking to go and unfold a seven figure business. So if you have questions about where you should start on that evolution chain and what matches your budgets, your timing, but most importantly, your goals that you're looking to unfold for yourself, if you're looking for professional advice on that, reach out to us at Asphalt Kingdom. You can reach us at 1-866-399-5562. We'd love to speak with you. We'd love to do an acceleration session with you and ultimately determine what the best journey is for you ahead so that you can achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully it helps you. We look forward to speaking with you. Also do know that you can watch this video here or you can watch this video here and welcome to your Asphalt Kingdom.